r slash no sleep posted by you slash horror noob the dummy game i got myself into big trouble i'm part of a game called the dummy game created by a demon played by people in a small town i went to this town to start a small hardware store it was a small town with few business competitors in it i was wondering why nobody started a business here i prefer places like these because it's peaceful here the town was quiet when i arrived it was not clear to me the time before the incident happened. It doesn't matter anyway I'm introverted so I can adjust with no problems. It was too quiet here. I learned about this place from my cousin who just arrived a month prior and said that this place was bustling and lively. He was on vacation though. Come to think of it the last time I contacted him, he did not reply. According to my cousin, this place was bustling when he arrived. The streets looked barren now. I went to the grocery store to buy some stuff for my needs. I went to the cashier and handed my cash to her. She looked at me suspiciously while I was handing it to her. Turn it over please, she said. I found it weird but oh well, I turned it over. I promise this isn't fake money, here take a close look, I said. Hmm. Okay. On my way to my apartment I bumped into an old lady, she dropped her bag full of groceries. I apologized for what happened. I reached out for her things. Don't touch IT, she said. She hurriedly grabbed her things. She checked on the contents of her bag and went on her way. It was weird. That time I thought the people here were weird. On my way home I was hurriedly walking. Even though I was an introvert, I was used to an environment where everyone was warm and welcoming. Based on what my cousin told me, this place was like that. Hey you dropped this. I looked back and saw a man who was handing me a coin. I accepted it and thanked him. He ran away after I took it. I thought to myself how weird he was. I looked at the coin and saw that it was glowing while I was holding it. There was sort of a symbol in the center. When I was holding it by its sides, it stopped glowing. That time I noticed people glaring at me. Some people took a picture of me. I was close to my apartment so I hurriedly went there. As I entered my room there was someone on my chair next to the dining table. The door closed on its own behind me. He was a bald, short, around 5 feet. Stout man with pinkish skin with a messy full white beard. His skin color made it look like he has some sort of allergy covering his whole skin. He wore blue sunglasses and an old school trench coat, white gloves and leather shoes. Congratulations on being part of the dummy game. To be fair, I always visit first time players who become the dummy. I'm quite busy myself so I just wrote down the guidelines of the game in this brochure here. You're a dummy right now. A dummy is someone holding a cursed object. To play the game all you need to do is pass along the cursed object to other people without physical harm. I'm about to go now but I can entertain two questions before I leave. How did you get in here? I'm calling the cops. Suddenly my chest felt tight, and I wasn't breathing properly. It got so bad that I fell on my knees. Hmm. You're new in town I see. Oh, that's fine. Call all you want the cops can't get me. I'm not someone a normal cop can catch. I'll let go of my grip. You have two questions don't waste my time. I suddenly felt the weight off my chest. I was feeling fine enough to stand on my own. I stood up. Who and what are you? I asked. Hmm, that's a weird question. Pretty sure they should have told you. The last guy asked the same thing though. Oh well, I'll answer that as one question. I go by many names and people call me many things. My favorite name is Mr. Wallace so you may call me that. As you might have guessed I'm not human. This form I have is like a shell. I'm what many call a demon. He answered with a puzzled look on his face. Why is this happening to me? Somebody started the dummy game ritual. We could say he's the first dummy who cursed an object to be passed along. He can set someone in this town as the curse's target. If he successfully passed the cursed object to the target within 7 days after the curse start or when the target becomes the 100th dummy, I kill and eat the target grant the game starter a wish within my magical capabilities. If he fails to give the target I kill and eat the one who started the dummy game along with the last or the 100th holder of the curse. Why do this? That's three questions but oh well I'll answer. Because it's fun and discreet. You're like toys to me. I could just eat anybody here but that's not fun, plus I'll have some supernatural hunters on my tail which is annoying. I kill and eat discreetly now. I'm legitimate though because I grant wishes since it's a pact. I better get going see you around. I was still trying to process all of it. He disappeared. Suddenly out of nowhere, I heard a voice. Forgot to tell you one thing. 
you gain powers when you have the cursed objects but it's different for everyone and you can't harm or intimidate people when it comes to cursed objects. When I think about it, I feel the power. In my mind, I need to get this cursed object off me. Nobody told me about anything in the town. The cursed object is a coin so I'm thinking about who I could give it to. I lived on the upper floors and looked out the window. From afar, I see a group of homeless people. I can give this cursed coin to one of them. The ability I gained will surely help. It still bothers me because I'm going to be dooming someone else. There's many of them if they suspect something I might be done for before the demon gets to me. Right now, I'm preparing a plan to give it to one of them. Please understand, I know what I'm about to do is bad but my life is on the line. I'll update as soon as I can. I didn't sign up for this. All I wanted was to start a business here. All of that has been ruined because of this stupid game. For those who are curious, this is what is written on the brochure. It would be best you understand how the game works. Mechanics of the dummy game by the game master. 1. Anybody can summon me and start the dummy game. You just need to call me with the ritual at the back. 2. Only people inside the town can receive the curse. Once a person receives a curse, he is automatically a participant. 3. The one who called me makes a certain person the curse's target. The true dummy for I curse a belonging you choose. A visible mark appears on the cursed item. 5. Cursed items can get passed around but must be received willingly by the dummy. 6. If the curse arrives at the wrong target, when the curse reaches its limit, I'll kill and eat you along with the target. If the true dummy receives the curse when the curse reaches its limit, I kill the target and grant you a wish. Alternatively, if the true dummy violates the rules and gets killed because of it, I grant your wish. 7. The curse reaches its limit once the 100th person receives this and once 7 days are up slash. The last person holding it, 100th or once the 7 days are up, will be the properties of the curse. 1. Whoever bears the curse receives one random ability or cheat as the town calls it that helps them convince others to take it. This varies from person to person. 2. The most common observed abilities are, hiding the cursed mark, placing the cursed mark on a different item, and the ability to make a person unable to refuse a gift unless another person helps him slash or snap out of it. Penalties. 1. If you receive a curse you cannot return it to the one who gave it to you. 2. Attempting to harm a person for any reason that involves a cursed item will result in me killing you. Those are the rules. The night after I went where the homeless people are hanging out. They were near where a convenience store was at. I went to the convenience store and bought some energy drinks and some wine. On my way out while carrying my purchases, I took out some spare change and gave it to one of the homeless people then hurriedly went on my way. The homeless person took the coins. One of the coins has the curse mark. I then hurriedly went to my apartment. Get back here you punk, he shouted. That time the curse was out of me. I could rest easy. I thought I should just wait till the 7 days are up just to make sure. I just went and focused on the construction of my hardware store. It was a productive day. Despite being handed many things luckily none of the workers was carrying any curse. The curse immediately presents itself when you receive it so I'm sure none of them gave me any curse. Likewise, they don't seem suspicious of me. It was getting dark. I went home to my apartment. As I was about to reach for the door, a man suddenly tackled me. I fell and was lying face down on the pavement. His hand was holding my head which was facing towards the left. I can feel his knee on my back and I see a knife pointed towards my neck. You're going to get this curse back. You hear me? He said. You can't do this violence isn't allowed. That's only for players. My friend received the curse not me. I'm not a participant, you hear? I can cut you up right now if I wanted to. Okay okay, I'll take it back just please let me go. I was so frustrated so I ended up venting what I was thinking. Why is this happening anyway? I'm new to this place. I'm just trying to keep myself alive. The person who started this should receive this curse, not me, I said angrily. Oh, so you're new in this town huh? That explains why you don't have a group protecting you. That person went homeless due to some bad luck in his life but he's still part of our inner circle. Why are you in this town anyway? This town is known for playing the dummy game often. My cousin told me about this place. I thought this would be a good place to start my business. I haven't heard from him since. When did he come here and what's his name? He came here two months ago. His name is Marvin. The person suddenly loosened his grip. I'm sorry, he said. He let me go and got up. Don't try anything funny, I also have a gun with me, he said calmly. I got up too and saw him. From the looks of it he looked like a middle-aged man with a bulky body. He looked big enough to be a bouncer at a club. 
He had a stern look on his face and his eye bags made it look like he hadn't had good sleep in days. Okay I'll figure out a way to get the curse out. We have enemy groups after all. I'll let you go since you're a newbie. Try to find a group to join in the meantime. It's the only way for you to survive. I don't know anybody here aside from my cousin. Your cousin? He probably got into trouble. He was probably alone. I can't have you join my group. Why would I want to join your group, I thought to myself. Oh and one little tip. The power my friend had was to see how many times the coin was passed. It was passed a total of 89 times. Most of the time the cheats you get are either weak or useless. Though there are times where you get pretty useful cheats. Don't report me or anything, I'm doing you a favor already. He then left in a hurry. After that, I went to my apartment complex. I was just relieved that I don't have the curse anymore. I can't believe Chris let you go like that. He's usually doesn't let go that easy a woman in the waiting area said. She looked like a woman in her late 20s around my age. She has a normal build and is dressed very well. You saw everything? Of course I did. If you look from here you can see it. She was close to the window near the entrance. From the looks of it everything can be seen from there. You know that guy? I asked. Yes, he's Chris he's like the leader of the largest group of dummy game players here. You know the dummy game? She paused for a moment. Well, Chris wouldn't attack anyone unless it's dummy game related. If you want you can join our group but you have to do a little something for us. Our group is small so we kinda need more members. Meet us in the lobby here tomorrow at 7 p.m. By the way I'm Ruby your landlord. Oh, nice to meet you, I'm Jacob. Before you leave can you tell me what happened? Before leaving I then told her everything. I went to the lobby the next night. It was just her and another man. The man looked like he's in his late 20s around my age. He was wearing a grey hoodie covering his head. I could have sworn I saw him before. We have a problem, she said while stuttering. Her demeanor was different from yesterday. She's looked very anxious today. We have a big problem David here got the curse from Chris's group. Other members of our group got attacked yesterday by his group and can't come here. We need to find a way to find another dummy. I don't want to cross paths with him again, I said. I know. I think it's getting too dangerous for you. It would be best if you just leave this town. I'm starting a business here I can't just leave. I see, well let's just stay out of each other's way. For your protection. She handed me a gun. Be on your guard if you hear some trouble outside of this apartment complex. I couldn't sleep properly. I was thinking about how I could handle all of this. Aside from the stress and work of starting a business. I decided to write about what happened again. It's me again. I jolted out of my bed. I took the gun from my drawer and pointed it towards where the voice is. Don't even try that won't work on me. It was Mr. Wallace. Yeah, I occasionally visit people who receive the curse. You're unlucky enough to receive the item again, he said casually. What? Received anything lately? My heart sank. I grabbed the gun to check for the cursed mark. At first, there were no visible marks but when I checked the ammo, I saw it, the bullet had the cursed mark. You're very interesting Jacob, among all the other first timers you are one of the least pathetic ones. Also, it looks like you received a very interesting cheat. I just grant the powers but the manifestation is out of my control. Oh well, I'm on my way. As long as the game is ongoing I'll be watching. It would be sad if you just died in your first game. He then disappeared. This was all too much to process. How could Ruby give me the curse? I need to think about my next actions. Sorry I have to stop and focus on my situation now. I will update again as soon as I can.